Today we're going to be taking a look at the unitized oil seal, part number 10-51. Whenever you're doing maintenance on your trailer, perhaps doing your brakes, it's always a good idea to check your bearings and seals. Now where our unitized seal is going to differ from a lot of different seals is this center section that's going to sit on the spindle is actually going to stay fixed onto the spindle while the outer section is going to rotate with the hub. And because of the design, it's going to take a lot less wear and tear and provide a lot better leak protection for your oil bath hubs. So now that we know how our seal works, let's show you how to get it installed. And as you can see, this one's been leaking pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and replace it. The easiest way to get it out is you just take a flathead screwdriver and you come underneath, and just gently pry up on it. Let's get a little bit worked up, start working your way around to get the rest of the seal out. And since we have the seal out, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and check the bearing and the races for any kind of damage or wear. And it's always a good idea to go ahead and clean up any of the debris and the buildup that was building up around that seal. Make it a little bit easier to check everything and we don't have to worry about contaminating the inside of our hub. So we can grab our new seal, making sure to put our bearing back in place, and our seal is going to have two sides. One side is going to be metal, and then the other side is going to be a rubber piece. You want to make sure that metal piece is going towards the inside of the hub, towards the bearing, so we can just loosely put it in place. Now if you don't have a steel driver that's this big, you can take a block of wood, we're going to put it right over the seal, and then take a hammer until it's nice and even. Just periodically check and see where we need to drive the seal in. And once you have it even all the way around and it's fully seated, we're good to go. And that'll finish up your look at the unitized oil seal, part number 10-51. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.